Welcome back. I'm Kevin Locken with Mitchell Cusco, and today I'm on site and we're talking about concrete anchors and fall protection. And for anybody wondering, uh, guys, don't worry, I'm just wearing my regular hat that I've got here, but we've got our hard hats right next to us. So I'm gonna go ahead and do this video without the hard hat. We're in a pretty protected area, so I don't want people to come at me saying, hey, you're doing all this fall protection, where's your hard hat? It's right here, don't worry. We're, we're under a ceiling, so we'll be fine. So the purpose of this video uh, is we always have a need for uh, certain fall protection items and concrete anchors and trying to find those to piece what we actually need and what is suited on site. Um, as our company grows, we have different needs and such. Um, so, you know, when we're doing a leading edge and we're setting wall panels, we'll go ahead and use concrete anchors because the guys are going to be over the leading edge and sometimes they'll have the braided line going around uh, as we do on this project. This was a uh, wall panel system, this was precast, uh, but still, as you guys can see behind me, we have a elevator shaft in here. Um, and so this would be the type of use that the guys would use to work over the edge. So we've got two of them here today. Um, this is actually a reusable anchor by Warner. And this is the Malta Dynamics Mega Swivel 5K. Both of these are rated for a 5,000 pound fall, um, as well as our retractable here as well. So I'm gonna kind of show you guys what's needed um, and where. This isn't a fall protection video. This is the anchors for the fall protection. We're, we're not gonna go into detail there. Like I said, we have two uh, anchors to talk about today. One of them is the Malta uh, Swivel 5K. So as you can see, we've got a pretty heavy galvanized ring here that swivels, um, so it can kind of go in all directions. You need to make sure that all of your directions are unobscured. We're going to be doing it in a room here just to show you guys, um, but it also has an expansion anchor in it uh, that eventually, you know, once you would pull it out, you would just lop the top off to the to flush of the concrete. So that's a half inch uh, drill bit. And then the next one is a reusable, both of them are reusable, but but on the Malta, you're not going to reuse the anchor. Um, but this one uh, is a three quarter and it's the Werner uh, expansion and it's reusable. So this one actually has, you retract it to set the actual anchor. And then as you're going out and as it's under pressure, and when, let's say that somebody happened to fall over the edge, it actually wedges itself in the concrete even more, which is what you want. You're gonna have a wedge anchor with the swivel, but on this one, the harder that it gets pulled, the more that it gets wedged in that concrete. Um, we don't have a preference either way. Each one is gonna have a different dynamic to it, uh, but these are the two that we use out in the field. So we're gonna go ahead and set these and show you guys how to you know, pull these apart once they're done as well. So we're gonna get to that. So on the Malta swivel, again, like I said, we, we drilled a half inch anchor. Um, this one's gonna be a little bit longer. The depth on, on this deck is only, uh, I think three and a half inches. You really need to be embedded about three and three quarters to four inches on these things. Um, so I'll go ahead and set this, but understand there's probably still gonna be a little bit sticking out because I couldn't drill through the full depth. So in this instance, we wouldn't, we wouldn't, uh, we would find another anchor uh, solution. But I'm just showing you the two that we would use on a four-inch deck or more. And then we'll go ahead and twist this up. But again, like I said, we're not deep enough on this particular piece of concrete. 
take our lanyard, get it connected, and now this is what we would use as far as our concrete anchor for one of our retractable lanyards. Like I had made mention on this one, uh, it's not necessarily thick enough for this, uh, so we would, we would have to find something that's a little bit shorter. Um, but as far as just the removal of it, you would just take this bolt out, we would unclip this, take this bolt out, The cool thing about this one is, watch, once I pull this off, I'm still able to pull the washer, pull this off, and then pull out the sleeve. So I don't have anything that I have to go back and cut or anybody stub their toe on, trip over, or anything else like that. So this is a pretty cool little one. The expansion part is then still in there, big deal. Um, you know, we're able to get this out and now you've just got a bolt you know, that you could probably just toss away, uh, you know, because you'll just get a brand new anchor, which is what you're supposed to do anyways. Sorry. Sorry, Tom. I've been chewing gum this whole time. I'm like, ah, I probably shouldn't be chewing gum. All right. So guys, this is the other anchor, um, and I thought this one was really cool um, just because it's reusable, removable. Uh, we were able to pull the sleeve from this one, so it's nice that you can just pull that sleeve and don't have any uh, anything to go grind off. This would be the exact same thing, um, with the exception of this has its own expansion anchor in it um, through the mechanics. So I'm gonna go ahead, we've already drilled our three quarter hole. I'm gonna push this in there. I should be at a depth of about four inches. I'm gonna let this thing go back, let this little pulley system go back, and then it's wedged in there as you guys can see, right? Wedged in there. And then we can take this, connect our retractable to it, and as long as we're unobscured by anything, this thing will end up pulling. Now, what we ideally want is we want it to be in a wall that is, you know, shoulder height above your head, something like that. We don't always want it to be pulling on that, on that, uh, on that same plane that it is, you know. So ideally, this would be in a wall. But for this, for this instance, we're just showing you an anchor that you could use um, if you needed it. And both of these are relatively cheap. They're about fifty to seventy dollars, so it works really nice. So when we're removing this anchor, we're going to take our thumb through the loop and our two fingers on the choke point and bring it up and release it. So we still have the whole entire anchor intact uh, and it's, like I said, it's reusable. The other one is reusable, you just have to get another half inch bolt uh, to get it in there. So guys, like I said, what we like about these is they're reusable and retractable. One, uh, I think that will only have about a two year lifespan before some of the mechanicals run out. That's the Werner one. Um, and maybe they say differently, but you know, the braided line will eventually get worn out. This uh, Malta one will be used until somebody loses it on the job site. Um, I, I kid, but you know, in reality, that'll probably end up happening. Um, but these are both great pieces to our arsenal, especially when we're doing uh, you know, heavy, heavy industrial work, um, leading edge work, stuff like that. Um, th these, will, these will come really in handy for us. So we just wanted to show you guys the utility of these, uh, not necessarily talk about the fall protection. Um, that could be a whole nother video or series, and quite honestly, we're not the ones to talk about that. Um, that, that should be a course that you guys take over time. Um, as always, don't forget to like and subscribe. If you guys have any comments or questions, let us know, and uh, we'll see you guys on the next one. Take care.